Hello everyone, this is Justin with Green Residential. Today I'm looking at an exterior outlet on the side of a house and I'd like to point out a few of the things that are done correctly on this outlet. So to begin with, this outlet is exposed to the elements and as such it has the required extra duty bubble cover over the outlet. Now this is important now to have in, in this type of environment. If this was inside a carport, for instance, where it has a protective roof, it, it's not required to have this bubble cover. It still is required to have a cover over the, the outlet, but this heavy duty kind of bubble cover is not required. Next, what I like about this exterior outlet is that it has, it's a little dirty, but it has a bead of sealant or caulking around the perimeter of the outlet box. Now that is important to keep any water that may run down the wall from getting inside the electrical components of the outlet. Now this sealant over time will need to be replaced as it will degrade over time. So this is considered maintenance and it's something to keep an eye on over time with your exterior outlets. Another thing that I like about this outlet is that they have the required weather resistant. You can see that the outlet says WR. I hope you can see it. Well, that is uh, another requirement with uh, current codes. So the outlet itself is a weather resistant outlet. And last but not least, it's clearly labeled C, AFCI, and GFCI protected outlet. Now, current codes require that all exterior outlets be protected by GFCI. So GFCI stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter, and it's basically a protection against you, for instance, getting shocked, to put it in, in layman's terms. It's more technical than that, but, but just know that all exterior outlets should be GFCI protected. Now the CAFCI, that is not required on exterior outlets at this time. However, in this situation they put it, and what this does is this protects against arcing in, in the wire. So it's not required, but in this case it has it, but the GFCI is required. So what I recommend is that you use this video and compare this outlet to your outlets that are in similar situations. They're on an exterior of your building and they're exposed to the elements. So they should have the bubble cover, it should be GFCI protected, it should have the sealant, and the outlets should be weather resistant. Well, I hope this video has been informative. If you found it helpful, go ahead and, hit, go ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel. We put out videos like this on a regular basis, and they include a lot of times simple repairs that many homeowners can do themselves. Well, have a great day, and bye for now.